We have seen that rational numbers comprise of terminating decimals and non-terminating recurring decimals. In this video, we will see how we can convert a decimal number to the rational form p by q. When we are given p by q, we can divide p by q to get a decimal number. But to convert a decimal number into the form p by q is a little more interesting. Let's look at this conversion first. Terminating decimal to the form p by q. So let's look at our first example. 0 0.45 There's only one thing you need to observe here. It's the digits after the decimal point. In this case, we have 4 and 5. Two digits after the decimal point. This was the most important step. Once we find this, we write the number without the decimal. In this case, it's 0, 4, 5. We write it without the decimal point and divide it by some power of 10. And what will be the power of this 10 in the denominator? Yes, it will be the number of digits after the decimal point, which is 2 in this case. This is actually 45. So 0 0.45 can be written as 45 divided by 10 squared, which can be written as 45 by 100. There's our answer. It's in the p by q form. This answer is not incorrect, but it's not complete. We have to reduce it to its simplest form. 5 multiplied by 9 equals 45 and 5 multiplied by 20 equals 100. This equals 9 by 20. This is the answer since it's in the simplest form. 0 0.45 was written as 9 by 20. All we had to observe was the number of digits after the decimal point. Here's another example. 2.225 it has three digits after the decimal point. So first we write the number without the decimal. It will be 2225 and divided by 10 raised to 3. We write 3 as the power of 10 since we have three digits after the decimal point. And that will equal 2225 by 1000. And this can be reduced to 89 by 40. So we wrote 2.225 as 89 by 40. That was simple. But what if you're asked to write 2.225 as a mixed fraction? A mixed fraction is something like 3, 1 by 4. It means 3 and a quarter. 3 is called the whole part and 1 by 4 is called the fractional part. So how do we get this decimal form in this mixed fraction form? It's very simple. The whole part is the number to the left of the decimal point. 2 becomes the whole part. The numerator of the fractional part is the number to the right of the decimal point. It's 225. And guess what? The denominator of the fractional part is the same as the denominator in the previous case. 10 raised to 3. Again, the power of 10 is equal to the number of digits after the decimal point. That's it. Now we just have to simplify the fractional part to its simplest form. This can be written as 2, 225 by 1000. This is the whole part and this is the fractional part. This when reduced gives us 9 by 40. So 2.225 can be written as 2, 9 by 40. That becomes a mixed fraction form. Just to check your answer, it's always recommended that you convert this into a normal fraction and verify. This would equal 2 multiplied by 40 plus 9 by 40. That would equal 80 plus 9 by 40 which equals 89 by 40. Same as the answer we got earlier. While converting it into a mixed fraction, just remember that the number to the left of the decimal will be the whole part and the number to the right of the decimal will be the numerator of the fractional part. The denominator in both the cases is the same. 10 raised to the number of digits after the decimal place.